Hello, first grade. Today is Tuesday, April 21st, 2020, and today we're going to do our phonemic awareness lesson. So you ready to go? We usually start off with two words. I give you two words, and you give me a thumbs up if they rhyme or a thumbs down if they don't rhyme. Okay? So the first two words are slide, glide. So you give me a thumbs up. Those two words rhyme. Next two words are blast, blue. Those do not rhyme. Thumbs down. Next two words. Flame, blame. Those two words do rhyme. Thumbs up. Next two words. Glove and glee. Those two words do not rhyme. Thumbs down. Next two words. Class, clay. Those are also thumbs down. Those do not rhyme. And the last two rhyming words today are float and gloat. And those two words rhyme, so those were a thumbs up. Okay, moving on, we're going to do onset flames. So I'll give you two words, and um, you give me a thumbs up if you think the blends, the L blends at the beginning of the words are the same. If you think they're different and not the same, give me a thumbs up, palms down, okay? So the first two words are black, blouse. And you should have given me palms up. They both start with the same L blend, bull, B and an L. Next two words, plate, slate. Those are palms down. Those do not start with the same. Next two words are block, plum. Those are also palms down. Those don't start with the same L blends. Next two words are plane and planet. Those are palms up. They start with the same L blends. Next two words are float and flower those are also palms up and the last two are flake and slice those are palms down those do not start with the same next uh, moving on we're going to do blending onset rhyme so i say the onset and then you say so i'll say the uh i'll break the word into parts i'll say the l blend and then the remaining of the word, and then we're going to put it together and make the word. Okay, so the first one is bull, ast, put them together, blast. Next two are cool, ock, put them together, clock. Next two are ghoul, os, put them together, gloss. Next two, pool, ug, Plug. Next two are ghoul, of, glove, and the last one today is slul, ip, slip. Nice job. Moving on, we're going to do final sounds today. So with the final sound of the word with my left arm, I'm going to punch up that final sound in the word. Okay, so the first word is jump, jump. And that final sound is the letter P. It makes the P sound. Next word is vase. Vase. And you should have said that letter is the letter S because it makes the S sound. Next word is the word desk. Desk. And that's the letter K. It makes the K sound. Next word is the, the word five. Five. And that's the letter V. It makes the V sound. Next word is the word sheep. Sheep. And that's the letter P. Makes the P sound. And the last one is the word blaze. Blaze. And that's the letter Z. It makes the Z sound. The last one today, we're going to be substituting phonemes that happen to be L blends. So I'm going to give you a word, and then I want you to change and put the L blend at the beginning of the word and tell me what new word you made, okay? So the first word is the word new, and I want you to put this L blend at the beginning of new, take the N off, put this L blend at the beginning, what's your new word? It should be flu. Next one, the word is dime. I want you to take that D off, put this L blend at the beginning. What's your new word? 
slime. Next word is race. I want you to take that R off the beginning and put this L blend at the beginning. What's your new word? Place. Good job. Next word is C. Take that S off and I want you to put these two letters at the beginning. Your new word is glee. And the last one, the last word is mean. I want you to take that M off and put these two letters at the beginning. What's your new word? Clean. Okay, boys and girls, nice job. Uh, before we go today, I'd like to talk to you about something we were working on before we uh, uh, left school. Um, we, were, we were talking about story elements. So story elements include your character, your setting, your problem, and your solution. So characters are the people and the animals in your story. Um, your setting is where and when the, the story takes place. The problem is what happens in the story. And the solution is how do the characters fix that problem in the story. So right before we left school to start our home learning, um, we were just about to write a book in, in my classroom and um, we were thinking of some characters so I tried to draw this guy as best I could. I tried to remember what he looked like on the whiteboard when we drew him one day in class but we did name him so my trivia question for um, this is mainly, mainly go out to my classroom today. Um, I want you to tell me the name of the character we were going to put in our book. We were going to, going to write a book and we were going to put a character in there and this is what he looked like on the whiteboard. Does anyone remember the name we gave this guy? He was going to be in our book. So if you remember, send your answer in on Remind and I'll see you on the next video. Okay, bye-bye.